Hey guys, I'm back and today I'm going to be giving you an installation video due to popular demand for my mod, A Realm of Thrones. Uh, since I've obviously already got it installed, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go all the way from the very beginning. Uh, I'm going to go in here to properties of my mountain blade, local files, verify the integrity of the game files. What this will do is it will erase the, you know, 10 or 15 or whatever, how many files, native files that I've overwritten. It'll replace those back with the native files and essentially uninstall my mod, mod completely. So we're going to first do that. We're going to go through the whole process. So, uh, you know, just to prove that this can be done by and easily by pretty much anyone. So uh, just bear with me. Okay, now that the uh, verifying the integrity of the game files have, has been completed, you see there's 12 files that fa uh, failed to validate. They will be reacquired. So uh, it'll download the original uh, native files and replace them. So the mod is gone now. But anyway, I'm just trying to put it right here so it'll kind of look familiar to you guys. Uh, some people are still having problems installing this mod. I thought the first video was pretty informative, but uh, we'll go through it again right now with all updated scenery. Okay, so we'll come over here into your download files like this as if it'll be a zip file so i think i probably got some zip stuff right here it'll say this compressed zip right here or something like that and uh but what then you'll do is you'll come you'll right click and it'll bring up if you have seven zip installed you come right here to seven zip and then you'll just say uh extract here it'll say extract here and then it'll you know it won't take but a second to unzip it and then it'll be just like this so rot uh, Realm of Thrones 2 version 2.1. What you then want to do is click into that folder and you'll have a modules folder and a music folder. All you really need to play the game is the modules folder, but if you want to have the custom Game of Thrones, uh, I mean, I guess it is custom, the uh, official Game of Thrones music in, in the mod that I picked out from the TV show or whatever, if you want this in your mod, take this music file too, but you can just do modules. But we're going to go ahead and do both. You copy them, you copy them, cut them, whatever you want to do. If you don't want it to still be in your downloads, you know, cut it. If you want to have two copies of the mod, you know, as a backup, just uh, copy it. So do whatever you want to do right there. We can get out of that. The next thing, I'm going to get out of my original file. So I have my stuff cut and pasted. So you want to go back into your local drive, go to your program files, times 86, then go down to a Steam then you go to Steam Apps. Well, this is the way it is for me through Steam. Then you'll go to Common. And after Common, you actually get to, this is your actual game games that you have on here right now. Mount Blade, Warband. This is what I got, just three games on this computer right now. So then you want to go into this Mountain Blade 2 Battle Lord folder. And this right here is the, is, called, is the main directory of the game right in the main, uh, Mountain Blade folder right here. You notice there's a modules and there's a music. So what you'll be doing is, uh, copying over these two files and everything else is included and you know so all you got to do is pretty much don't click on anything like this don't make sure don't make sure nothing's uh, highlighted but just kind of come out here to the side where nothing's highlighted and just paste and once you paste now it's copying all those files you know that's a pretty pretty big file but it's it, it's copying over it's adding all my assets and uh, textures and all that stuff that's what's taking up the most space but it's also replacing those 12 files and then the fi other files that are actually on my module so there you go we're going to replace these the files in the destination so there you go we completely uninstalled the mod and now we've uh completely reinstalled the mod just to see where it goes Music, it's just breaking it up into the sounds, you know, the, uh, some of the sounds from the game right here. So that's really no big deal. But if you go into modules, this is your actual module list. This is the list of stuff that will be in that opening screen whenever you uh, first load the game to pick your module. So as long as you got your uh, Bannerlord general modding patches, this uh, is what makes the map work. Then you have this ROT content. This is all the armors and all my files that I've put in here. And then uh, this ROT new map, this is pretty much just the map and the settlements, uh, the settlement names and stuff like that. So that's what it is. 
So there you go. The mod is completely uh, reinstalled. Now what you need to do, all you have to do is just go launch the game. You don't have to have this better exception window, but it this kind of helps find crashes and stuff like that. So that's why I have it equipped. So, but you don't have to have that. But what you after your native sandbox core sandbox story mode custom battle, you want to have them in this order: ROT content first, then general modding patches, then ROT new map. Uh, the most important part is this: uh, general modding patches has got to be before ROT new map for it to affect because these depend on each other. So there you go, and then you just hit play. Right here, caution, this is always gonna say this, go ahead and hit confirm. Okay, you hear the Game of Thrones music, so there you go. We're gonna go ahead and go into the game now, and I'm just gonna reload my actual save. Okay, looks like the game, at least the world map loaded. Let's just walk around and see if we could... Okay, I didn't need to talk to him. Go ahead and walk. Looks like everything's working fine. Kind of make sure there's no weird crashes. So there are problems with this mod. I mean, it's, it's still very early access and nobody's working on it but me. And, you know, I'm, I'm busy as it is without, you know, video games. Okay, I hope this video is informative to you guys. Uh, if you have any other questions, just add them to the comment section. Thanks for watching.